Hi, welcome to the Me and My Base series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the bases I own or base related stuff I own. Uh, I will tell you how I did purchase them and why. Further, I will tell you my opinion about the playability and the sound. Uh, this time's up the Tech 21 Sense and Programmable, programmable <laughs> Base Driver. This pedal is made in the USA. It has six controls for a drive based treble presence blend and level. It's basically the preamp of a very good amplifier. All you need is a power amp and you're in business. Why did I buy this pedal? After joining a uh, ACDC tribute band, Crazy Daisy that is, I was chasing the classic impact tone in my TC Electronics RH450 bass amp. Although it's a very good amp, after weeks of tweaking, I gave up. At first I bought a Behringer clone of this pedal, uh, but I got complaints that it produced a, a high pitched note or tone, actually. Uh, I decided to go for the real thing, which is built like a tank and the Behringer is made out of plastic. And the most important of this base DI uh, this programmable base DI is the fact that it has three programmable slots. I hate it when knobs you carefully programmed are turned a little bit by you or by somebody else and you'll find that out when the band starts playing. Um, with this pedal you can store your carefully made settings and you can twist and turn the knobs but if you press the dedicated foot switch one more time you're back at the preset you made. So that's that's great. <laughs> Let's hear what Tech21 has to say about this pedal. Always thinking of our fat strength brothers, we had to make a three channel programmable rig in a box for a bassist who can't get enough of a great thing. Like the Tri AC for guitar, you get three hot tones right at your toe tips. The all analog circuitry features the same controls as its single predecessor. Drive, bass, treble, press and blends and level, as I just told you already. Digital, digital only in its programmability, you just tweak the knobs until you find a tone. Double tap on the foot switch and it's saved in the channel. It's that simple. Three of your favorites to go. What attracted me to buy this pedal was the fact that it sounds really good. And it's almost an industry standard. You can take this pedal to go to your gig and plug it into the PA through the XLR. You don't even have to bring an amp with you. This pedal is enough. Geddy Lee from Rush did this for years. Filling the space behind him with washing machines or a chicken grill or whatever. Instead of amps and speakers. Here are a couple of examples of recommended Tech21 settings. I must state that sometimes there is a high pitched metallic clinging noise notable but this has nothing to do with the pedal but with the source of the audio and in this case a noisy looper excuses for that
I've dialed in my favorite setting, which I used in the ACDC tribute band and also in the first stages of the band Wipe. And I play through it with a couple of radical different sounding basses. signal flow in these clips was the bass direct into the sense amp and then into a UAD Apollo Twin without any processing. This is a great pedal. You can have an amp pack in your back pocket if you will. The only reason I'm not using this pedal as frequent anymore is the fact I bought a camper or two campers. But Okay, uh, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and like this video. You can push the button on the lower right side if you watch it on a computer and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.